Greg. Take a picture of me and Cody. How's it going, Alright. Alright, Bill. Alright, Cody. Well, mean you've got to pose for a picture first. Alright. Yeah, no, no, I'm wondering. Alright. Yeah, no, back to this. Back to this. Yeah. All right, Bill. What are you doing here today? Coogan, what am I doing here? Um, I'm launching. I was opening up business. The porn, uh, the porn up. I'm taking over. I'm just here doing a bit. I'm just keeping it sensible today, Coogan. I'm. Um, it looks more business-like if I just put the mobile phone in this pocket. Yeah. Sorry. Who? Who's yeah. the, obviously Frank Warren announcing a new deal here on BC. Who's the biggest name here? Obviously a fella called uh, Billy Joe Motherfucking Saunders. Not the man behind you. No man, no, no, no. He's uh... <laughs> no. Do you know what? What I'm gonna say is because we're both from the mobile community, I'm gonna say that. I'm gonna let him stand next to me. Watch it, he's gonna agree. Watch it, I am the biggest star here. Go on. Watch it. Tyson. Tyson. Just say yes. Just say yes. Just say yes. Yes. Thank you very much. See that? Now listen. I am sorry. Listen, I'm doing this interview here, right? Yeah. Focus me. And that's the man himself. You know, uh, so yeah. Oh, Greg, listen, can you stop? Leeching around me when I'm doing interview, please. He loves the camera. Why am I here? Why am I here? This is Greg. This is Greg. Hold there, right? Hold there. Hold there, camera. Ask him why I'm here. Ask him why I'm here. Ask him why I'm here. Hello, Rob. 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 Hello,
when Hearn said that when you were talking to him about before obviously you signed with Frank that the opponents that you were picking or saying to Eddie Hearn were like really really bad and terrible exactly what, what was the crack with that? I don't know I don't know what he's talking about to be honest the opponents he could beat he's never had a fight in his life Eddie so couldn't beat anybody I think the worstest journeyman in England would slap him a 10 stoner so no Tarsin can I just I, I just I just want to put this out there. I said to him, fair enough, we're lovers, we're not haters, we like people doing work, right or wrong. And Eddie Owen doing very well. But put Eddie Owen on the street naked, up and down with us, would he better feed himself? No. We'll be looking at look here and he's sitting here. But listen, at the end of the day, I've got a dad, he's got no money. We got, we're old poor gypsy people, do you know what I mean? We've got. But you know, if I if I had a dad up there and put us through that, I would love that role. I'd be good at that role, matter of fact. What do you reckon, Tyson? The promotional role. I reckon he'd be a very good boxing promoter. And I reckon the future's bright for Billy Joe Saunders. After boxing, he's going to take up um, being a manager and being a, a promoter. And I think all of them, even the Warrens, even the Hearns, cool. everybody be under threat. are under threat when Saunders is on the scene. You see how sh sharp and snappy he's looking today? He's had a haircut and a shave, some better than a moisturiser. And he's looking, smelling, feeling like a million bucks. And this, and this tie as well. This is a very special tie. An Hindu give it to me. Who gave it to you? An Hindu. Okay. Yeah, this tie is very special to me too. Because Donald Trump gave it to me as a present to say thank you. See that? Did you watch him on uh, Good Morning Britain with Piers Morgan? No, I didn't. I was asleep. Still. How did it go, Tyson? Just tell us. It went extremely well. I'm very proud of my performance and I'm very proud of Piers Morgan the way he conducted the interview. I'll be, I'll be more interested in Susanna Reid because I think she's a sub. You, did you offend her or you didn't mean to offend her obviously, did you? No, I didn't offend her. I really, really fancy Suzanne Reid. And if you're watching, baby, hit me up. And me, I do as well. And Billy Joe. And me, hit me or dice it up. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, OK. Um, Frank Warren obviously going to announce a BT deal here today. I don't even know what we're doing here. I don't know what's going on at all. Well, we're assuming him to announce right, a new deal for BT. BT. Which is great for boxing and obviously great for you and everyone else here. Yeah, definitely. BT is going to be a big player in the sport. And um, I'm happy to be a part of it. The face of it? I think Billy Joe should be the face of it because he's much better looking and he's um, younger and he's got a better tan. Is it your trainer behind you as well? Well, which one? The, the one with the slick. Slick hair. Uh, Davison. Ben. Ben, come here. Ben, come here. Ben, come here. Look, come here. Look, come here. Look, 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 right, let, so let me just make something clear, yeah? I've got the biggest quarry out of the three of us. All right, listen. Sorry. This is what we're getting in trouble for. This know, is what these two are getting talk, in trouble for. Let me talk for. once at the shush. Let me talk to you. This is, uh, he's very immature for his age. Please. The man's he's looking out the gypsy king. Off, he's, he's looking out of the gypsy king, and then he's talking about uh, yeah. penises. This is what people with little penises say. We don't, we're not talking about that, All we're right, talking about go, boxing. Let's go serious, so you sorry. was with him. Cut that bit out. You yeah. was with him. Yeah. And oh, now you're with him. How did this he's affect like the relationship? Slag. He's like an old slag. He jumps from me to Tyson, <laughs> you're back to me to Tyson. That's what he does. No, go on, ask the question. What do you want to did ask? You think, obviously, when you were training Billy Joe, yeah. and now you're training Tyson Fury, which one did you, or do you prefer training, or did you have the best laughs and times with? Um, there's no having the best laughs and times, really. We have a joke and laugh all together. Um, Simple as that. They're both obviously the best in their divisions. Did you feel like so. a, a sense of loyalty was betrayed when you left Billy no, Joe to go to No, because we all had the conversation as, as adults together, and we all sat down and spoke about, it and we hugged it out, and we uh, we sorted it all out. We did. We did whatever. Yeah, is that how it was? Ben said to me, "Listen, Billy Joe, you perform like a wanker." I'm not trained you no more. No, I didn't at all. We was all in my bar. We all sat down. We all got together. We said, "Look." Matter of fact, we, matter of fact, we all had a meal over as well. Yeah. I cooked a bit of fish. <laughs> 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 you wouldn't even get the joke though. No. Either. Yeah. You cooked a bit of fish. It's no. no, it's all right. I was doing. I was. Uh, we all went shopping. <laughs> I bought. I bought a nice bit of food. <laughs> I bought some uh, I bought some full size fishes with the head and teeth all in them still. And he thought he could cook it. I thought I could cook it. Next thing you know the lot were in the bin. And I think we ended up with brown flakes. <laughs> Tyson, do you know what they're talking about? 
I've no idea what they're talking about. At the end of the day, Tyson, at that stage, Tyson, that. Tyson was about 30 stone. He couldn't, <laughs> he couldn't even have any brown flakes. He didn't have any brown flakes at the time, so it was... Uh, Right. Well, don't, don't interrupt our, uh, <laughs> our view when we talk. Is there anyone else who's want to involved in this interview? Anyone else still? Well, I've this just man, been, come here. Just have a look around. I've just been you resolving. Obviously, Michelle's still upset that Billy Joe hit her a little bit hard. So oh, yeah, what happened? happened? Phelps, get in here. Look, I've just Phelps, been in the middle of it. Michelle Phelps, just you look like you had the ump. From Billy Joe. You had the ump after your sparring the session the that he the took the liberties. The ump. The ump. The ump. The question is, are you, you aggravated? Apologize? You had the ump. Are you going to apologise? No. You had the ump, not look, the lump. Phil, I wasn't, it wasn't say sorry. It wasn't I was expecting an apology. I just think that men don't understand their strength. Sorry. And it wasn't. I, I look back on the footage and I had a good laugh about it. I know that it was to you. You were having fun. Yeah. But to me, after a bit, a little roughhousing. It wasn't so fun. Someone told us you liked it, Rob. <laughs> that's the reason. So that's the reason I informed Billy Joe to go a bit harder than he usually would. To happen. As I was sparring, I got a bit carried away. Yeah. I see a bit of I see a bit of tip bouncing about. Natural instincts. Yes. Tyson, did, do you want to play this in the mean, so, you're, you're, so your natural no, no, instinct is to you. smack me here. No, that's a barrier to Galahad shot. So I just did that, bend the leg a bit, <laughs> then over the back. But I didn't really mean to hit her that hard, to be honest with you, Coop. Do you want to apologise? Just apologise. Oh, I apologise. She knows I'll do it. Time over again, we'll do it again. Yes, he would. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I would have did it a little bit differently. I'd have hit her in the face. Do you accept the apology? No! Do you accept the apology? She did it. She, oh, she okay. I know. I know he didn't mean any. Oh, oh, oh! More the phone. More the phone. Oh, oh, Billy Joe. Oh, Sorry. Ben. Again. So I'll cover something. <laughs> I'm gonna let Ben do that. No. All right. Anyway. Leave it to you, sir. Thank you very much. I'm glad you are cool now. You're all right. Fighting's all right. You're all right. Everyone's all right. Thank you very much for talking to IFL TV. Tyson, <coughs> with the apple, this is just continuing on from our conversation earlier on. Good apple. The apple is a very symbolic object. Never underestimate the power of an apple, because the world began with an apple. Very true. So you're going to be fighting your comeback fight exclusively on BT Sport. Big shout out to Diet Coke, my new sponsor. Uh, thank you guys, and um, appreciate it. Good plug for Diet Coke there. Um, yeah, BT Sport, you're going to be fighting exclusively on BT Sport. A reaction from you? Delighted. Massive station, massive platform, massive pay-per-view fights in the future. Can't wait. Obviously they'll be launching their the BT pay-per-view platform. This is going on more than 20 seconds, you know that, right? I know. Josh is going to chin you. Yeah, it's happened before. I don't think so. <laughs> All right, okay. I get it, okay. But you're delighted. That's the point. Shout out who? <laughs> shout out who? You shout it out. You shout out. MTK Global. Thank you, Tyson. Delighted to be on the station. Look at the new poster boy. I'll make this look good. 